But why? I mean, wasn't Paul Kana... Kani-san believed in that stuff too, right? Seriously? Why is Akane-san so important to these guys? See for yourself. We caught this on camera about two weeks back. Palekana. It's their orphanage, right? Sure seems like it. Yeah. This is where she worked. Look here, Kasuga. The picture that Daidoji faction gave me is the same photo. Whoa, you're right. Hey, tell me, who's this girl with Akane-san? She's not just some girl. You see, Bryce is really after her. Uh -huh. Her name is Lani. This island Bryce may think of himself as its new god, but she could take that all away. The girl's his Achilles' heel. Knowing how Bryce works, he'll do whatever it takes to track her down and snuff her out. Snuff her out? A poor little girl? <sighs> you said her name's Lonnie? What the hell's Bryce want with a kid like her? What's killing her gonna solve? Hang on. First, who is Bryce, really? How does one man control all of Hawaii's underworld? Care to explain that? I don't know the details myself. By the time I started gaining prominence here, Bryce was already the sage of Polycana, and well in charge. Right, okay. And how far back was that? This was 30 years ago. Fair to say Bryce was always here. His control over the underworlds lasted at least all this time. And get this. He looked exactly the same back then. 30 years ago? Wait, then how old is he now? Sounds like he's easily over 90. If that's really the case, he must be some kind of monster. Back in my early days, I had my sights set on expanding to America's mainland. In a sense, Hawaii was supposed to be a sort of stepping stone. Things were going well. I had driven out the existing Chinese presence and become the king of a new regime in Hawaii. And it's been Ganja ever since, huh? That's right. But something occurred just as I was about to make my next move. You see, it was then I got a visitor. I speak for the Overseer. That was how he greeted me. The Overseer? By that, he meant Bryce? Correct. Well, I didn't know that at the time. Naturally, all I saw was a no-name fool spitting hollow threats. And given my newfound status here, I promptly sent him packing. That was a grave mistake. What? <sighs> no more than a week later, I received a mysterious package. It was a small cardboard box. Even stranger, the sender was my hometown. <sighs> when I looked inside, I found a head staring back at me. And it wasn't just anyone's. It was my mother's. <gasps> to uncover my place of birth alone was by no means an easy task. But he'd quickly proven otherwise chose to shove it in my face. And it was then and there I knew what I was up against. And after that, it was side with Bryce or suffer the consequences. Right. Granted, I was always looking for a chance at revenge. Truly, I may have kneeled, but I could never 
that my mother's death go unanswered. To that end, I went to great lengths selecting men I could trust. There was no knowing what would make its way back to Bryce. And still... That suit, right? Bryce's spies were right under your nose the whole time. So it would seem. Furthermore, Palakana is at the heart of this whole mess. Bryce's spies, they're bred from within Palakana itself. What, like brainwashing? Exactly. He uses his position as sage to influence believers. And once he has their trust, he makes himself their object of worship. Those he lures in follow his every command. Not even death is off the table, long as it's for his sake. You saw that for yourself back at the hotel. Bryce's role as Palakana Sage is everything to him. It's more than just a front, much more. Okay, Bryce is no joke, I get that. But back to my original question. Why the hell is this Lonnie so important to him? Well, I'm not sure. It's like I said before, as far as we know, Dwight and I are only following Bryce's orders. That's not to mention that we rarely receive those from the man himself. However, this time, we did. He told us to find the girl named Lonnie at all costs, and that Akane be with her. He said she was trying to keep her safe. That's all we were ever told, no rhyme or reason. Bryce had given the order, and with that, we had no choice but to follow. Ah, Dwight left that out. In fact, he was pretty vague about things. He told us an unknown client offered him 10 mil, and that's it. Hmm. The Overseer's identity is the last thing he let slip. Wouldn't you know? He bought his story, hook, line, and sinker. Sneaky bastard. Who knew he was such an actor? Anyway, if this was some rare direct order from Bryce, then Akane-san and this Lonnie girl are special. He wouldn't pull out all the stops otherwise. That's why you thought Lonnie was Bryce's weak point, is that right? Yeah. I thought if I could get my hands on her, Bryce would be the one bowing down to me. But I was foolish. So we got mafia bosses and casino managers at play. Two grown-ass men with pretty major titles chasing after a kid with no real clue as to why. <sighs> and then there's Akane-san. She must have realized that Lonnie was being targeted. Fair to say, that's why she ran off with her. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Based on this, she looks about ten. That right? Yeah. She's just a kid. Her best hope was someone pulling her from the lion's den. If not for Akane-san, she'd have never stood a chance. Kiryu san. She needs our help. Right now, it's darkness at every turn for her, and there's no end in sight. She needs someone to show her there's a way out. That there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. I'm with you on that 100%, Kiryu-san. They have my son, too. Palikana stole him from me. I won't abandon him. Now what? From the looks of it, they aren't with me. Ahoy! Wong To! <laughs> we know you're still out there. You're still limping around. Must be fun, eh? Come on and show yourself. I'll fix you right up. It's Yamai. He must have sniffed us out. 
You saying he works for Polycana too? No. To Yamai, Hawaii's just another rock out at sea. He's nowhere on the overseer's radar. He's too small time to be. Yeah, and what's he doing here? From where Yamai sits, the Ganja are collapsing. This is the perfect chance to wipe us out. And sure enough, he's taking it. You fellas are here too, yeah? Kasuga, Kiryu-san. Wong Tou's the main event tonight. Hand him over, and I guarantee you boys will go out in one, maybe two swings. Gee, how generous. Doesn't look like they're coming out, boss. Maybe they scampered off. Nah, not while the Gib's still with them. Unless they've got a stretcher, they're not going anywhere. They're probably skulking around in the shadows. But boss, how the hell do we find him when it's this dark? What? Having trouble seeing? All right then, let me get a light. Uh, huh? Uh, oh, allow me, boss. I don't hear anything. You think they backed off? No way. Your mind would never give up that easily. <sighs> That's for sure. <sighs> huh? Oh, come on. Huh? <sighs> well, now. This ought to brighten things. Plus, it's warm. So, two birds, one stone. Shit. Cold out here. He's out of his mind. We're gonna get fried if we stick around. Let's move! Uh, 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 Kyu-san! Uh, 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 uh. Hurry! It's spreading fast! Thank goodness. We can rest here. Sheesh, what took you? Guess we're out of options. Okay, so we take him out. Then what do we do? Not to worry, Chichan. We'll make it out. Tell me. I hope you're ready, pal. Right then. I wonder how you'll handle things this time around, Kazuma Kiryu. Let's see whether the dragon breathes fire or his last breath, shall we? Right, time to throw down! <laughs>